The default uncanny eyes are cool, but today we're going to customize them on a Teensy 4.1 with TFT displays to make them smaller and way more realistic. Here's what I'll be using today. So I removed the gyro module and I'm still using the Teensy 4.1. Same TFT displays, jumper wires, breadboard, power supply. I'm still using the 0.1 microfarad and 22 microfarad capacitors on the VCC and the ground of each display. Here's a look at my wiring, and I'm going to make several different videos on uh, how to modify different aspects of the uncanny eyes using the Teensy board. I found that to be more digestible in smaller amounts than one big, large marathon video. So I'll show you a few things here, and then we'll build off of that in, in the next few videos. If you like this type of stuff, don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. Also, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I also wanted to include the diagram of how I wired everything to the board and how I supplied power to the board and where to put those capacitors. Now we're going to open the Uncanny Eyes program in the Arduino IDE. If you've got the email list, I sent you a zip file containing the code, the header file, and all the default graphics. With that said, let's go ahead and open our code. If you, uh, if you watched the last video and you got the code, your eyes probably look something like that if you're using the, the Dragon Overlay, the Dragon Eyes, and it's pretty big. It fills up most of the screen here, most of the display. But uh, we're going to make them a little bit smaller and make them human eyes. So, in order to do that, let's open our code. We have the .ino, which is the main code tab, and then we have the config.h, which is, it's a header for the uncanny eyes. So let's go down here to line 50, and this display size 240 is actually overriding the setting in the config.h tab here. And uh, we'll go ahead and, it's overriding this. So we'll go ahead and change this. Let's change it to 160. All right, we got 160. Let's comment this out. I don't want to do dragon eyes. I want to do the default eyes, the human eyes. So we will do that. Now we're going to change the iris min and the iris max. So let's get down here to line 98. We're going to change the iris min from 120 to 200. We're going to change the iris max from 900 to 600. Now we switch back over to the main code tab and we want centered eyes and they're not going to be centered. So we want them centered. We're going to add an offset calculation to center the 160 pixel eyes on the 240 pixel displays that we have. And to do that, we're going to go here to line 300 and we're going to add our offset. And I realized that I cut that off, so I printed it down below. And this should allow our eyes to be centered once we upload the code. As of right now, the eyes just look around randomly, but let's say that we want a static eye, so no looking around. So we come here and we highlight this section here. This is all the autonomous movement code, and we're going to replace it with IX equals 512 and IY equals 512. So we'll go ahead and highlight the whole section. We'll delete it, and we'll replace it with IX equals 512 and IY equals 512. That'll keep the iris centered, and there'll be no looking around. We'll just uh, do this to see how it looks. You don't have to keep it, obviously. Now we want to add a little bit of a squint effect to the eye. So the it, it affects the upper and lower eyelid. And we're just going to come down here to line 459. And right now it says U threshold and L threshold equals 0. We're going to make U threshold equal 60 and L threshold equal 40. And hopefully it'll give it a little more of a realistic look. Okay, with all these settings, you don't want to forget to define your offset. So let's go up here to the physical screen resolution section. And instead of using a full screen, the code's going to define a smaller rendering window. And this, for us, it's going to be display size equals 160. And this lets the program draw the eye at 160 by 160 pixels while leaving the unused space around the edges. So, all right, at this point, let's go ahead and upload it and see what we have. Make sure you have your Teensy board and your ports selected up there. And all right, now it's uh, it's erasing the old code and putting the new code on the board here. And once it's uploaded, if you have a smaller space you, you need to work with, I think this is ideal for that. And you can make it bigger or smaller. Just go into the config setting and set that size. It's 160 right now. You can do 128, 180. And if you think this is just for human eyes, you can go back in and change the overlay to something else that's in your graphics folder. For instance, you can comment the default eyes out and uncomment dragon eyes. And you should get the same look, only with the dragon eyes overlay here. 
So there's the dragon eyes. We can also do goat eyes, and if you look at the iris, you'll notice it doesn't expand and contract quite as much as it did before. And that's due to adjusting the values for the iris min and iris max on the config tab, but I'm going to switch back to human eyes for the next video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this helpful, be sure to check out our other videos. Consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of stuff, and leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you again with another video.